This is Mary at the Marriottier. Wasn't that a fun video where Janet was doing the silk, silk painting? It would have made beautiful washi tape. So we're all about, we are all about throwback, throwback art. Throwback. Let me get on stream here and say good hello to everybody. Hi, Mitzi. Hi, Mrs. Gigi. Hi, Susan. Welcome, welcome. So we're all about doing throwback. Throwback meaning vintage or something we did <laughs> several years ago. I have to laugh at Penelope because I called her vintage and she said, I'm not vintage, I'm antique. <laughs> I was thinking that a pincushion doll probably would have made a nice throwback craft. I could have probably have finished Papa Pierre. She's patiently waiting for Papa Pierre to make his appearance. Maybe he'll come this year. So, clothespin bag. This little dress clothespin bag was hanging out in the back porch. It's really not mine. It belonged to my brother's significant other. And... I th I think it, it's, you know, I've been here almost five years, so it's getting kind of yellow here. I think it was originally white, but, well, now the underside could have been yellow, a light yellow as I look at it. Maybe the skirt part was, maybe the white is just meant to be an apron. So maybe it is supposed to be a light yellow. I was thinking it was probably, but the more I look at it, no, I think it is yellow. And they've got this wonderful little seam binding on it. Seam binding. Isn't that cool? And, of course, the clothespins. And how many of you can find wire hangers now? Maybe you can some places, but wire hangers... Wire hangers are almost vintage because now every time we go to buy hangers, they're all plastic. So here's a little throwback with the hangers. <laughs> so and this is just a plain little dress. Uh, I don't know if, if she made this or bought it, but was given to her. It might have been her mother's. I don't know, but it's certainly cute. So And it's full of clothespins. Yeah. So, looking at that, I thought, well, that would be fun. Maybe I could recreate, recreate a clothespin bag. Isn't that cute? Well, let's see. Let me get my phone back out here. Hi, everybody to, who's coming in. Hi, Lala and Arlene and Mina and Candy and Angie. Angie, <laughs> you still have wire hanging, Angie? Cool. And Cindy Rain Girl, uh, at the dollar store, you can get the wire hangers. That's interesting. I'll have to check. You had one of those, Carla. Good morning, Carla and Rhonda and Kimberly and Janice, Janet Nash. Janet, I love your silk painting. I loved your silk painting. Very cool. <laughs> Ring girl Cindy says, me too, Penelope. I'm antique too. I'm not vintage, I'm antique. And there's Mina. Hi, Mina. Ah, I missed you guys. I wasn't gone that long, really. So what am I going to do to reinvent clothespin bags? Now, um, I am making my way to my $5 sewing machine, but I'm not going to use it today. <laughs> so I'm going to take this and set it aside here behind my chair and show you what I have. I got the this three things at the thrift store and I'm going to only work on one of them probably today. And they still have the price tags on them. I got this, well it's upside down. I got this thing little, I was shopping for kids clothes. It felt so weird. I got this darling little denim jacket. It cost me it at the Goodwill. It cost me five dollars, but that's okay for for my project. Five dollars, you know. Let's take the price tag off of it. Um, and I thought this would be cute. Now I'm not going to put clothespins in mine. I'm reinventing it. Remember, 
I'm going to button it up here. It's got all the buttons. I'll button it up. Um, but I might leave it unbuttoned because I'm for now because I'm going to turn it inside out to stitch it together. But this is well made. It is a Old Navy stretch extens extensible. E X T E N B L E. It says XL. Well, <laughs> I guess it would be XL for a little boy, but that's not XL to me. That looks like it might fit a skinny little lady. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it inside out and I'm going to hand stitch like this. Let me flip it here. I'm going to hand stitch along the seam here because I don't have my, I don't have uh, my sewing machine out. So I haven't quite decided. I'll probably baste it first. And uh, I have this blue crochet thread here. Yeah. So I'm going to hand stitch it closed there. And then I'm going, what am I going to do with the sleeves? So I'm just showing you this now. Uh, I'll work on it today. And then when I come back tonight, I'll show you the result. I'll be back on later tonight. I might show you, give you a little sneak peek it's when I do my intro tonight. But I'm on way late tonight, around 10 or so. But see, it's got the pockets. And I'm going to make it to keep, you know, behind my computer desk there, I throw all my stuff. Like, oh, those packages of um, little baggies those little ziploc bags things um you know little three by three and a half three by four little bags they're in a bigger bag but they would i like bags i like bags for around here and i've got some hooks so and it, look i can put things in the pocket oh these are fake pockets oh they're fake oh we're gonna have to change that oh i'll put a i'll put a cute fabric here the pockets are fake. Isn't that cool? They didn't put real pockets on this jacket. Well, we'll change that because I want uh, I want to be able to put something in there. And I might... These pockets on the side are not fake. These have real... real. These are real pockets here. So I can put things in there and I'll put pockets here. Now, I might make... I might make them to hold scissors as long as I'm going to have to put um, pockets on there. I might as well make them to hold the scissors. I might just bring it. Well, no, I'm not sure how I'll do that, but I'll figure it out. <laughs> I might just have it go over the flap and have that button show. I might leave it fake up here. Let's button this one back up. I'm not watching chat. You guys are on top of the wastebasket <laughs> where you're safe. Yeah, I think I'll leave that buttoned up. And then I'll get another. Because look, see this. I'm hoping you guys can see this. It V's anyway. It comes into a V. And that's just perfect for the scissors. And I got this pair well, I actually have two pair here. I've got these fabric scissors that Suze gave me. And the other pair right here. Oh, and you know what would look nice on this fabric? You know what would look nice? This. Or even that galaxy. But this would look nice if I cut some out of this. Yeah. Ooh, that would look cool. I, and this is cut for my postcards. I'll have to figure out how much I have left, have for my postcards. And, uh, or I could use some really, like, plaid, or I'll have to see. Now, I, I also have that fabric that, remember I got it out and said, what am I ever going to do with that John Deere fabric? <laughs> uh, I think, was that what uh, Norma sent me? Somebody sent me some John Deere fabric in Happy Mail. That would look cute on here. But see, it'll hold my scissors. Now, I may not put these in here because I have to have these handy. But I'll put scissors like this. I have a couple of, of pair that 
I can just tuck in there that I don't use very often. I have to keep these other scissors handy. And But I, then I was thinking, well, what am I going to do with the sleeves? Because I like all of this. And so, and then I could put, I could put something up here on the shoulders. I'm dreaming here what I'm going to put in here. But after, after I get this all stitched up, I could, you know, I could leave this, just button up the first couple, and I'll be dropping things in here. Like all that stuff that's behind my computer screen uh, over on my computer desk. I'm getting organized, and here's the back. Now the back, I think with the sleeves, I think I'm going to tuck the sleeves here on the back and then bring them up like this. And see, I could have a pocket here if I stitch it down and bring this one over this way like this and have these two meet like that on the back. And stitch, maybe just do a blanket stitch. Well, no, I want this open. Do a blanket stitch along here and then I would have I'd have a pocket here and a pocket there and a pocket here and a pocket in there and you know so I kind of like that idea and I could maybe just just stitch uh, blanket stitch these together because this is all gonna be slow stitched <laughs> just stitch around here and uh, stitch this. I'm going to have to figure out how I want to do this. I might have to stitch. No, because I was thinking I could get a pocket out of this, too. I'll have to figure that out. I might just tack it here. Tack it on here like this and stitch this part down. Stitch these two together. Tack it here. And that would make a nice pocket for underneath. And I could put probably papers or something. And uh, I'm going to have to see if I can find another wire hanger to hang this on. And this will hang in here, and it will be so cool. It will be so cool. So let's look at chat. Now, I'm going to work on this. I'm not going to work on it here now because I have to get it in my hands to work on it and up to my face. Now, let's see. Melissa, hi Melissa. She says, Oh Laura, I'm drinking from the fire hose of all the channels. Oh, Melissa is the one who they were given all those channel links to in in uh, was it Lisa's stream? Yeah. Jersey is here. Donna. Hi Donna Betts. Um, Kimberly, Cindy, Angie says, Laura, tell Cole that Aunt Angie said to get in school now. Our kids are out today because of snow, so we don't have any snow, and we don't have any snow. Oh, hey, <laughs> uh, a bonus, a bogus, a bonus bogus snow day, Angie. Laura's here. Melissa says, hi, Laura, I'm new around here. Welcome, Melissa. We're glad to have you join us. Now, let's see. Linda McAllister says, next time we need to bring some drinks. I have coffee, hazelnut coffee. Does that count? I made two cups, two mugs. So I'll have to go warm this one up after, after the stream. Janet Nash says, oh, Linda, look at me getting the wrong end of the stick. <laughs> what the, what's going on here? We had our sandwiches in, in our bag, Linda said. Jersey's here, Kimberly, and Teresa. Hi, everybody. Okay, so I'm going to set you back down. That isn't the only one I bought, though. This will probably be the one I work on today because I'm, I'm really excited about doing this. Now, let me set it aside. I also, because I wanted something that looked a little bit more vintage, I found this little boy plaid shirt. Won't that make a cute... A cute clothes pin bag and I might make the well I think I'll make it see I I like bags because I can hang them what I do with my scissors I can hang these all came from Goodwill I can hang them on my bookcases I can put up those those uh, 3m hooks and then you know the 3m hooks and hang hang them 
on there. I, I like bags in here. And I can also take them off the hook and bring them over here. And so, and these sleeves, I'll probably leave these sleeves alone. And I'll probably just let them hang down on this one. And just hem it up here. Again, it's blue, so I'll probably use my blue crochet thread. And this one has a real pocket. So I might do something here. I might put another little bag in here. Maybe even a... a a project bag would be cute on here. One of those smaller... I have a project bag that was a pencil bag that I could upcycle. It's got ink. I used it on my Urban Sketchy. And it's it's the, one of the ink pens leaked and got a spot of black on it. And I could upcycle that and maybe attach it. I don't know if I'll work on this one today. I'm going to work on the denim one. Then, to stay cute... <laughs> I got one of these little girls dresses. Isn't this sweet? Isn't this sweet? Yeah. <laughs> now this would make a cute vintage clothespin bag. But I'll probably have to split this one down the back to be able to get inside of it. Otherwise, so I'll be like that. So... Um, I don't know if I can work on this one or not. I love how they put the seam binding on this. See, seam binding is cut on the bias, and look how stretchy it is. And that's why they use it on the armholes and the neck, because it kind of, it's stretchy. This is just darling. This, this reminds me of, this could hang out on the clothesline. How many of you still have a clothesline? I have to say we don't. I think my brother did when they first moved, but I think they took it down. I'm not sure about that. But see, it has a little flower here to match. Just darling. So that's what I'm up to. I'm not really going to start on these here because um, I have to. I have to see. I have to see it. So I'll work on these today while I'm listening to all the chat. Let me turn this one around. So you can see I, I am doing this to hang around as I'm cleaning and organizing here to tuck things in. And that's how I'm going to reinvent the clothespin bag. I could even get out a couple clothespins, you know, and clip them on maybe the shoulders to have clothespins for like to hold papers and stuff like that. Maybe we'll, maybe I'll alter a couple clothespins. What time is it? I could start that. Now this is altering a clothespin. Let me know what time it is. I don't want to go over my time. It's 6.51. I have about 10 minutes. Let's grab, let's grab a couple clothespins and alter them. Just for the fun of it and because I have time. Let's grab a couple clothespins and alter them. Paint them. <laughs> Let me zoom in. Let me zoom in here. Zoot. Whoops. Hold on. Going for a ride. There we go. Well, this is the center of my desk here. Isn't that weird? And I'm afraid to mess with this camera too much. It's very touchy. I might have to zoom out just a little bit. And work over here. Right above that. Okay. So let's let's alter some clothes pins. And I'm just gonna use craft paint. And you can see I spilled paint all over my desk here. This isn't what I spilled, this is new. I think I'll use it though because the other is juicy. Now let me stab the yeah get paint on my scissors. Yeah. Okay. Let's just alter some clothes. I'm going to paint them blue because... 
blue is the underlying color on those fabrics. Every one of those have a touch of blue. Let me grab a couple towels here. This is just a, no, maybe not that one. We'll use, uh, get out another one there. Put my scissors away. So let's fast maybe. I have to keep an eye on the time. I think I go until 7.05. It shouldn't take too long to do this. Let's just paint up a couple clothespins. And these are probably vintage clothespins too because I didn't buy them. And they've been out in the porch for I don't know how long. Oh, okay. You can do that. <laughs> it bit my palette knife, so I said, all right, we'll use it to hold it. So even if you don't have children's clothing like my brother's grandkids, uh, I imagine there's some clothing upstairs that I haven't found yet. <laughs> but uh, I went to Goodwill and got, got them. So let's snap onto this one too. That worked pretty good. Just... Holding it there, and I'll probably have to go in and I'm I'm thinking I'm gonna I'm thinking plaid, put some stripes on here, maybe some white, maybe with my fine liner. Mary's thinking about it. Now I'm not watching chat while I'm doing this. Yeah. Oops. And this is just craft paint. This is apple. This is apple barrel, I believe. Let me see. Yeah, it's apple barrel. You get apple barrel craft paint at Walmart, an eight ounce for two dollars and fifty cents. Nice and reasonable for us folks. All right, put that one over there. Let go, and let's grab a hold of this one. Let's see what time is it. 856. I've got a few more minutes here. Let's paint this up. up. So I've been talking about expanding this to an hour, but I don't know. It just it kind of depends on what we're doing. Uh, Janet said she was okay with her time. This is more uh, these chats, these live streams. Because we have a number of people who stream, you know, we go almost all day the way it is. I hate to expand it too much. Uh, but it kind of depends on what we're doing. Like I can, there's no way that I could stitch on that clothespin bag. I'll, I'll show you what I'm going to do. And then I'll come back and show you what I've done all day long. I also have things all strung out in the dining room again. My poor brother, he's so patient with me. But I am getting it organized in here. I found my sewing machine. I found my sewing machine. Yeah. I might have to touch this one up a bit more afterwards, but let's put it over there. And, and, let's just take my paint. And I'll probably have to change this drop paper. It's just freezer paper. All right. So, 
I don't know which one is the driest. This one needs a little touching up. Here, I was so careful with my hands. Now, I'm just going to get out my fine liner and do a little fine lining on it, if I can, quick. If I can. This is a fine line paint applicator. I get these, I get mine at Hobby Lobby, but you can get them, I think, I think you can still get these online at, I think you can get them on Amazon, and I think you used to be able to get them at Jago's, you can get them at Dick Blick, probably the other places sell them too. And let's just start with this, and I feel like dots, I feel like putting polka dots. And we'll just put some polka dots on this, and then I'll I'll let it dry. I want it more random. And I'll let it dry, and then I'll do the other side and come back. Polka dots are nice and easy. Oh, just about had to repaint that one. Polka dots are nice and easy. And they'll look cute with those little, with that denim and those little plaid. I think I'll do this one. I did these two on the side here. I think I'll do this one on the, well, let's flip it over one more time this way. Let's do this one this way. And I'll have to, I'll probably have to touch these up a little. But isn't that fun? I wasn't planning to do this. I wasn't planning that. Let's bring it down a little center. Just a little bit more for you. There. Yeah. Paint's not dry. There we go. So let me put this back on. This is just craft paint. The white is just craft paint too. Pure craft paint. Nothing added to it. Wait a minute. Let me put the cap back on. That's, well, I'll do that after the stream. So it is 7.01. I got four minutes to tell everybody goodbye. Polka dots. Thank you, Aunt Beck. So next up is our very own, let me get it out, Tanya McGuire. Tanya is going to do yarn and thread doll charms. Yeah, I can't wait to see what she does there. They're going to be cute. Uh, could somebody put Tanya's uh, channel link in for so it'd just be easy to hop over there? Hi, girly girl creates Michelle. Welcome, welcome. Beth said, I like just sharing the idea of the project and getting everybody ideas to start on their own. Yeah, Beth, I think that's a good idea, don't you? Like, this was so simple. I didn't even plan to do these this morning. I just, I was lucky to go out in the porch and get the clothespin bag. <laughs> I have to tell you guys, I I fell asleep. Um, I was I was watching YouTube, and I had the phone in my hand, and I fell asleep. And uh, I thought I set the alarm. I thought I set the alarm for four. But, you know, I did not have the alarm set on for Friday morning. So an angel must have woke me up this morning. <laughs> I woke up with a start. Like, oh, no, I missed my own live. <laughs> oh, dear. Isn't these, aren't these fun? Hi, Roy, Bootsy. All right, well... Let's see. Let me. Oh, I could paint the wire gold. Ooh, that's a good idea, Beth. All right. Well, Aunt Beth dropped a, chan uh, a link, and so did Carla to Tanya's channel. So she's on next. So I'm going to say enjoy the hop, you guys. Get lots of ideas. Have fun. Have a nice, relaxing day. It's Friday and the weekend's here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do more of these. I think they're so fun. 
They are so fun to do. All right. Bye, everybody. I'll see you later. I'll see you in the chats, and then I'll see you later tonight around 6, around that time. Bye, everybody. Thanks for coming.